So here we have the Alinal, Mr. Sridhar Sani, Madam, President of the AOMPT. Okay. Hello, everyone. And I was telling you about the three and a half years not missing any single session of the AOMPT. So that is none other than this, Madam. Yes, ma'am. What do you want yes, to say? Yes, sir. I think uh, again it's a very uh, lightning session from your side that how you were. From morning to till now, that energy level is the same from your side and as well as the participants. They are also very energetic and they are also participating uh, for their learning process or as well as the movement testing itself when the you were showing on for the thoracic rotation or for the cervical, how we go and we check as a chiro manual therapy, how we judicially utilize the movement testing. That is a very important part or the multi uh, structural approach of uh, articular myofascial and neural that is also very important to use for the chiro manual therapy because uh, in AMPT we work on the patient centered approach so we cannot say that that we are only working on the articular the chiro manual therapy for the articular dysfunction so we have to correlate all these things also the myofascial and the neural also because that they are also the part of patient uh, problem because we cannot say that my patient is having a osteophytes in disc or in the facet joint because of that that how the muscles which are correlated they can be in the tightness or in the spasm so we have to treat simultaneously that also and as well as the nerve compression the foramen uh, narrowing itself give the nerve compression so that is also a very uh, important to take all these things as a holistic uh, part of our treatment after that, we can understand all the pathomechanics by which we can easily understand like if the patient is having a problem with the lateral flexion. So they are, so there is a problem. So how we will deal with the facet joints and how we will apply the these uh, uh, activator tool on that area where the facet joints are blocking in the flexion. Or if there is a rotation are restricted in the spine, either in the cervical, thoracic and in the lumbar, then how we will move towards the our uh, direction uh, towards the spinous, the side of the spinous process, because uh, when uh, uh, we give on the spinous process by our side by side, after that we can see that how the rotation will come. So this is the way we can understand all the, uh, the structures which are in the center, like the disc is in the center. So if the patient is having a disc related problem or maybe the stenosis is there, so how we can give on the, on the spinous process we can give. So that is the thing that is uh, very, very important to understand the logic that how we can use it on direct on the spinous process. If there is a problem with the center system like the disc or the patient is having a stenosis problem or if there is a rotation, the lateral sections are rotated. So my direction is for the facet joint because now I am dealing with the facet joint. They are responsible for the dysfunction or function of the lateral flexion. Or if I want a rotation, so I will keep this activator on the side of the spinous process so that it can provide the rotation either for the thoracic cervical according to the region which is restricted. Or if I want to give, like uh, in the morning session, you were uh, explaining that how the, uh, when we are going to mobilize the spine, if there is a flexion restriction, so how my finger movement will be there or if, uh, uh, with the uh, rotations, extension is needed. So it is also dependent. And the, basically that what, which type kind of head we are going to use it. So if I was, I want to give on the direct so that the rounded head, it is a very useful that we can give the impulse from that. Or if we want to give to, uh, for the rotation, then we can use this uh, T-shaped head. So these are the things uh, which, we use or if we are uh, we want to give for the spine uh, like the sacrum uh, on the base of the sacrum or on the uh, arc so that there also if there is a unilateral or bilateral so we can take the big uh, big head of this activator tool and then we can give it for the sacrum also so this is the way uh, we judicially by understanding of the pathomechanics or what is the dysfunction either the unilateral or the bilateral or i can move if i want to give the bilateral though so i can also uh, use this kind of bigger head also so this is the way we understand the mechanism and then we can we just give it so this is the way uh, we do and we understand so the base of 
a full session from morning to evening is the pathomechanics that is a very important or understanding what kind of the dysfunction which is the primary or which is the secondary or the tertiary either the articular is the primary like the disc and the facet joint they are giving compression to the neural maybe secondary or tertiary or because of that maybe the muscle fibers uh, uh, that are the secondary or the tertiary that can be so but we have to treat simultaneously all in the all in one and uh, the uh, like in that uh, just before you were telling about the facial distortions the dysfunction related to fascia that are also a very uh, for this activator tool we can treat that kind of dysfunction the facial dysfunction also that is very like that herniated trigger point or the the patient is having a trigger band dysfunction or continuum or the uh, so folded dysfunction so in that also we can utilize this activator tool or the cylindrical like a neural problem vascular problem is there so the patient is having a cylindrical facial dis uh, distortion so we can also utilize like a neural on the neural all along the course of the nerve we were utilizing or the vascular insufficiency where elevated or dependent position we can utilize it so this is the way uh, in AMPT we deal with every problem according to the patient centered approach not as a technique centered approach so thank you so much sir the full session till now it is very understandable where to use mobilization where to use manipulation according to the patient examination examination evaluation that is the key of uh, our evaluation that how we understand the patient function as well as the dysfunction aggravating as well as the relieving factor so uh, this is the key uh, for the treatment for our treatment so thank you so much sir uh, it was uh, completely a eye opening session uh, for all of them they are sitting there they uh, maybe they will feel a better understanding because they can feel uh, by palpation, by evaluation, by keeping their hand like the, the ma'am who is sitting behind you. Uh, she was giving with the hand movement, the thoracic rotation. That time I was seeing uh, the happiness in her face that how when she was uh, turning the thoracic spine, that rotation was coming by her hand. That time she was feeling fulfillment that yes, I got it. The way that how I can check the rotation of the thoracic spine. So this is the best key if they are present offline they can easily understand or by palpating the trigger points or the tightness how they can deal with the reciprocal or the post isometric relaxation we deal with uh, a muscle energy technique or the neural position either the loading and the offloading that time how we can evaluate or the traction which you were showing with the hand traction the manual traction with the sling so that is the things which are very important for the uh, chiro manual therapy for the articular dysfunction so that we can correlate all the problems. So thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you, the people who are sitting there. So they are learning where maybe uh, they will feel fulfillment that after today's session. So thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes.